It was under the proud gaze of Sophia, the Queen Mother of Spain, that her granddaughter, Princess Leonor, awarded this year's Princess of Asturias Prize for Concord to the city of Gdansk. Alexandra Dulkovich accepted the award. She became mayor after her predecessor, Powell Adamovich, was stabbed and killed by a far-right activist, an incident that shocked her city. Mrs. Dulkovich, how did your city recover after the tragic death of uh, the former mayor, uh, Pavel Adamovich? It was an easy time for the citizens of Gdansk, which is obvious. So many people, when I'm walking down the streets uh, in the city, they are still uh, sad uh, because we still don't know why, why it happened. And uh, Mr. Mayor Adamovich, he was the mayor for 20 years. And uh, for 29 years, he worked for the city before that as a member of the city council. So uh, for many people, they don't know the city without Mayor Adamovich. So in an emotional way, uh, this is extremely difficult. But what is the most important for me personally, but also for the family, we very quickly, one day after his death, we said it very, in a very open way. We don't want this tra tragedy to be used in a political way. We don't want this tragedy to divide the society in Gdańsk and in Poland. That's my second question. Uh, so was anyway this event, with this tragic event, a turning point for the Polish society as a whole? I was hoping um, <clears throat> that maybe it could change something. We really want to, this tragedy to keep people together. Something what was tragic turned into something what is good. To try to build again community, especially that the last words of Mr. Mayor were about this, that we are good and we want to share goodness. If we want to change ourselves, we have to start from ourselves, change our language, change the way we speak to the people and try to find uh, inside us, ordinary people, th something what is good and what can put us together, not this part. Mrs. Dulkevich, don't you think that is not just a problem of communication, but it's also a problem, a political problem, a structural one? Don't you think that history, after the collapse of uh, the socialist system, has evolved too fast and many people didn't follow that? Never ever for 70-something years after Second World War, we never were in such a good position. Okay, the question about the society and taking care of the people is always a good question. But in my opinion, this is not uh, that simple answer. This is the answer of the responsibility of the people who are our leaders. If they really want to build a society which is... Um, put together with something what is good and can maybe not be so easy to follow, but what is good. It's always easier to put people together against something or against somebody or looking for uh, the enemies. And unfortunately, this is something what is our everyday life uh, nowadays uh, in Poland. Uh, for example, four years ago, uh, the main enemy were the immigrants. Today. Uh, the community of LGBT+. Plus. So, uh, according to you, why are the, the conservative values rising up against this kind of liberal ideas? Well, well I usually disagree uh, with saying that um, law and justice, the governing party, is a conservative party. I think it's not true because I consider myself as a liberal conservative. I really deeply believe in basic values, um, such as um, human dignity, for example. So where is the cleavage? The problem is that uh, there is a unique mixture served by the, by the political leaders, by the, by the governing party, uh, putting all together uh, based on our fears.
And in my opinion, it has nothing to do with conservative values. Okay, they uh, also have a strong solution with some of the leaders of uh, Roman Catholic Church in Poland, but we also have uh, other bishops who are uh, very open in a sense of being real Christians, real Roman Catholic, and put into human values. I have a, a last question about your city and about its symbol, the Lenin uh, shipyard, mm -hmm. now called the Gdansk shipyard. Uh, they have been shrink for economic reasons, especially during the transition, the shock therapy. Uh, was that a social cost for your city and for Poland? Well, not really, because when you look um, around the, the world, around the Europe, you can see that uh, changes in the uh, shipyard uh, production uh, are all over the world. Um, Unfortunately, the symbol of the shipyard of Gdańsk, former shipyard called uh, shipyard, Lenin shipyard, uh, was also used for political, uh, political reasons. Nowadays, uh, shipyard is again bought by Polish government. It used to have also some economical successes um, when producing the windmills and the other um, things made of steel. Um, but what is even more important, there are so many new private smaller shipyards who are very successive uh, in Gdańsk and sur surroundings. Last, last question, why is important this award, the Princess of Asturias Award, for your city? We are not only a symbolic city, historical city, but also that's what we are doing every day. Our open policy, policy of equal treatment uh, of people, not no matter where do they come from, based on values like solidarity, freedom, human dignity. Uh, it's important and uh, this is something that I believe that we are on the right way. So solidarity is the key word for your city. Solidarity. It is, it is, it is. Not only in history but also in everyday life. And this is, I hope, also a solution for Poland and for Europe. Thank you very much, Mayor. Thank you.